there is new U visa policy, so I do want to talk about it. It is oh. for people who are the victims of crimes. And there are extraordinarily much larger percentage of immigrants who are out of status, who are the victims of crimes by U.S. citizens and residents against them than what Donald Trump said was that undocumented immigrants were committing crimes against Americans. It's actually more the other way. There are so many people who are the victims of serious crimes that there is a waiting list of over a decade from the time that you apply for a U visa before immigration even looks at your application. That's how many applications they have, hundreds of thousands. And these are serious crimes. We're not talking about a minor crime against you. We're talking serious crimes. If you are qualified for a U visa, if you are the victim of a serious crime, you help the authorities investigate that crime and you have some sort of injury as a result of it. Those are the three components for the U visa. The problem with the U visa is that after you file it, it doesn't give you any status. You had to show humanitarian reasons why you deserve the work permit and you waited over a decade for immigration to review your case. What a shame, shame on immigration that somebody would be the victim of a serious crime and then have to wait a decade just to get anything from the immigration service after they came forward and helped investigate that crime. Shame on immigration. So at least the Biden administration has recognized this and they are now going to give bona fide determinations just like they do in the VAWA cases, Vanessa. Like when you file a VAWA case, immigration takes a quick look at it. And if they say that it appears that you meet all the qualifications without reading every last thing in your application, they give you a prima facie determination to allow you to get government assistance. This is similar, but instead of giving you a prima facie determination, USCIS is going to take a cursory look at your U visa application. If you meet all of the requirements for the U visa, you are the victim of a serious crime. You helped investigate that crime. You helped the investigators bring the perpetrator to justice. You cooperated with the authorities and you have some injury, whether it's psychological or physical. They will look at that, check, check, check. And instead of giving you a prima facie determination, they're calling it something different. They're gonna call it a bona fide determination, meaning that your case appears bona fide. It appears approvable. When they do that, you will be put in deferred enforced departure status, just like a DACA recipient. Same exact thing. It's an executive order to put a group of people in deferred enforced departure status. You will get that deferred enforced departure status for four years. And what happens when you're in deferred enforced departure status? You get to apply for your work permission and you have a letter from the government promising not to deport you. You are now safe. So for all the U visa applicants out there who are waiting years and years and years and years and years, now you will at least get a benefit while you're waiting. And this not only goes for people who are actively filing their applications now, but also they're gonna go back and look at all the hundreds of thousands of applications that are currently pending. So hopefully those applications are bona fide. And if you don't get that bona fide determination, that doesn't mean your case will be denied. It just means it gets put in a different pile. You'll hear from immigration years down the line, you're gonna get an RFE. You know, my opinion is now I'm thinking about it as a lawyer. If you filed something, you didn't get that bona fide determination. Maybe you're smarter to withdraw it and refile again and make sure you get it. 
But that is the new U visa policy, Yo Yo and Vanessa. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.